in the background. I have always wanted this stuff right there. It's that time again where I've accumulated a bunch of like small little clips for one reason or another than pan out into a full video. Most of it is from me, a few of the clips are from friends of mine, but I think it's a very interesting kind of mashup of videos and clips about life here in China. So I hope you enjoy this episode of China Randoms. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water, let the mother burn. Okay, just for a quick tour of the Walkabout Row studio, uh, I put this place together about six months ago. Uh, let me take you through it. This is where I do the majority of my work. So when you first come in, you've got the bathroom. I'm doing some laundry right now. Um, yeah, it's very clean, very nice. And uh, you know, to the right, I have my living area. I don't sleep here every night, just a few nights a week. Um, TV, which I don't really watch too much. A fan, you gotta have a fan in Guangdong because it gets so hot. Even with the air conditioning, having a fan blow on you at night really does make a difference. Yeah. So this lamp over here, I've had this lamp for years and I wanna find another one to go here, but I haven't been able to find it. So I only have the one lamp for now. <laughs> uh, this is my kind of lounging area, reading area. And I, sometimes I just do some work. This is also where I eat. Speaking of eating, the kitchen's on this side. You know, you got your shoes and watches and whatnot. Um, nice big fridge. I have a lot of wine. I'm from California, so I love my wine. And uh, this kitchen I put together, uh, it was took me a while to find the right size and, and everything for the different appliances, especially for the little stove here. But as you can see, it's just a little kitchen. And I cook, I cook here. I, I do a lot of cooking and uh, I love it. It's great. Yeah, I've got a, some drawers. Oh, most of this is from Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over here, this is um, my charging area and my storage. So I got like cables and um, cameras and you know, my drone cameras and my camera bags. These offices are about half full. Uh, they fill up with new uh, businesses, seems like every week. Nice little park with a nice little walk around it. Okay, so my equipment, you know, I got the uh, Microsoft Surface. That's my on the go. And then I have my Xiaomi notebook. I've had this uh, for about three and a half, almost four years. Um, still working on an extended desktop here. And then over here is the Apple Mini with the M1 chip and the Xiaomi uh, gaming monitor. I don't game, but it's nice and wide for editing. And I got all my other gear here. And then I have my view. So the mountains, that's Wu Shan in the background. I have always wanted this, this, uh, this view, the mountains in downtown Zhongshan. This is a million dollar view, guys. This is incredible. Uh, this is the old Suchi district, which I've done a video on. And at night, this is all lit up very beautifully. So that's it. That is the Walkabout Rojo Studio. It's not big, but I love it. So during the Spring Festival, we actually took a nice little road trip. You can see a lot of those videos on my channel. We did a lot of hiking, some camping, and just general exploring of Guangdong. Uh, I lost a lot of the footage, especially in Huyen and Shanwei, but I was able to keep a little bit of it. It's kind of interesting to see how we spent our Chinese New Year's Eve. Looking for a hamburger, right? Hamburger. <laughs> I know, I'm stupid, right? No. Well, we'll drive, it's an hour and a half back into Yingde. Yeah, for Hamburg. And um, we can choose to stay there or we can move on to uh, Huyen. And this doesn't look good. So we are stuck right there. We're not in the mud, but we can't get back up the hill to the main road because it's a muddy road. 
So we're walking through this field right now, seeing if uh, we can find a dry enough spot to get to the other entrance to the main road. So this is the road. We're going out to the water out there to where we can camp. There are other cars out there, including passenger cars. And uh, we went down this road here, all right? And it's very muddy. We tried to turn around and come back. And of course, uh, we couldn't get past this muddy part here. So that's where we are. And of course, we can't get past there in this little Corolla. Now we could drive across this field, but there's a dip um, out there that uh, this car does not have the ground clearance to drive across this field. So we are stuck. <laughs> Car's not stuck. We're just stuck in this little area and can't get back up this road. Apparently we're not the only car. There are about four or five other cars down in that area that are having the same trouble. <laughs> so. the village here and he helped us get out of the mud so thank you very much man i appreciate it hey cheers brother. okay thanks. Good morning. Good morning. i've come here to see avatar i know avatar is over 10 years old and I've seen it many, many times, of course, but to see it again on the big screen, the IMAX 3D, this is going to be awesome. After over 10 years, it still holds up, and it was awesome to see it on the big screen again. Very, very cool. So we're here at this church in Huizhou. It's a big, beautiful church, and I'm told the church is here because the feng shui is bad. <laughs> yeah, so they did something powerful here. So they set up the church here and never opened. They never opened it? Oh, interesting. All right. You know, in L.A., if you have a park like this, it'd be full of homeless people and uh, guys begging for a rock, unfortunately. Many parks, not all parks, but many parks. All the city parks in China are lovely. So Zhongshan has a number of these like little artsy fartsy areas. This is a new area, I guess a converted industrial area, but there's an awful lot of art studios and pubs and restaurants going in here. It's all fairly new. It's called Zhongshan Art. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting. There's some music studios here. So today I play an old man who is looking up these hearing aids. Apparently I look much older today than usual. <laughs> 